Hello everyone, this is Mark Dugay, a graduate student of Grand Canyon University. In this presentation, I'll be explaining an aspect of the urinary system, particularly on the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system and its effect on blood pressure. The renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system is an important hormonal system which regulates blood pressure, the blood volume and electrolyte balance, as well as vascular tone and resistance. So this figure shows the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. Okay, as shown in the figure, the kidneys secrete the enzymatic hormone renin in response to reduced sodium chloride extracellular fluid volume and arterial blood pressure. Renin activates angiotensinogen, a plasma protein produced by the liver into angiotensin 1. Angiotensinogen is always present in the plasma in high concentration. Angiotensin 1 is converted into angiotensin 2 by angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE produced in the lungs via pulmonary circulation. Angiotensin 2 stimulates the adrenal cortex to secrete the hormone aldosterone, which stimulates sodium reabsorption by the kidneys. In addition to stimulating aldosterone secretion, Angiotensin II is a potent constrictor of the systemic arterioles, directly increasing blood pressure by increasing total peripheral resistance. The resulting retention of sodium exerts an osmotic effect that holds more water in the extracellular fluid. Together, the conserved sodium and water help correct the original stimuli that activated this hormonal system. Angiotensin II exerts other effects that help rectify the original stimuli, such as by promoting thirst and arterial vasoconstriction, causing an immediate increase in fluid intake, followed by a slower increase in sodium chloride intake. Moreover, angiotensin is also stimulates vasopressin to increase water absorption by kidney tubules to be conserved. So this is how renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system works. So this is an scholarly article related to the assignment presented, titled Differential Effects of Combination of renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system inhibitors of central aortic blood pressure across sectional observational study in hypertensive outpatients. This study aims to evaluate the effects of different an antihypertensive drug combination regimens involving renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system inhibitors on central aortic blood pressure indices in India patients with hypertension. A cross-sectional single center study was used. This was conducted in patients treated with hypertension for more than six weeks using different treatment regimens involving the combinations of renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system inhibitors with drugs from other classes. So in this study, the experimental groups are the different combinations. First, we have ACE inhibitors plus CCB. Another is ACE inhibitors plus diuretics. Third, we have ARB plus CCB. And the last combination is ARB and diuretics. Whereas the control group are the others or other antihypertensive medication groups or classifications. For the results of the study, so table one shows the demographic characteristics of the analyzed population. A total of 199 patients were analyzed in this study. Out of them, 59.3% were men and their age ranged from 27 to 78 years. Only 36.2% of patients had controlled hypertension. 
and 67.8%, which is the majority of the patients had hypertension for over three years, and 6.5% experienced side effects. The family history had the highest percentage risk factor, which has was 69.3%. 18.6% were smoker, 15.1% chewed tobacco, and 5.5% diabetes. Able to present the drug treatment in this study population, whereby all the 199 patients were on antihypertensive medication. 6.5% were on ACE inhibitors plus CCB. 13.6% were on ACE inhibitors plus diuretics. 32.7% were on ARB plus CCB. 45.2% were on ARB plus diuretics. And 2% were on others. Okay, table three presents the peripheral blood pressure measurements among various drug combinations. So the data presented in this table will be explained further in figure one. So this is figure one, which shows the same data presented in table two. So this figure titled peripheral blood pressure measurements among various antihypertensive drug combinations systolic blood pressure or SBP, diastolic blood pressure or DBP, mean arterial pressure or the MAP, and pulse pressure or PP. As shown in the figure, the mean peripheral systolic blood pressure was the lowest in the patients receiving angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor plus calcium channel blocker or the ACE inhibitor plus CCB with 134.31 millimeter mercury followed by those in the ACE inhibitor plus diuretics with 134.93 millimeter mercury. Next was the ARB plus diuretics with 141.69 millimeter mercury. Then the ARB plus CCB with 143.72 millimeter mercury. And the highest mean was in the others with 154.25 millimeter mercury. For the mean peripheral diastolic blood pressure, it was 90.78 millimeter mercury in the ARB plus CCB patient with a group, which was significantly higher than 80.77 millimeter mercury in the ACE inhibitor plus CCB group. The peripheral diastolic blood pressure between groups was comparable. Again, the highest mean was in the others with 104.50 millimeter mercury. The mean peripheral mean arterial pressure was 114.25 millimeter mercury in the R plus CCB group, which was significantly higher than in the ACE inhibitor plus CCB group with 105.23 millimeter mercury. Other treatment groups had comparable mean peripheral mean arterial pressure. The highest mean was in the others with 127.25 millimeter mercury. And for the mean peripheral pulse pressure, okay, 55.24 millimeter mercury in the R plus diuretics group, which was significantly higher than 46.89 millimeter mercury in the ACE inhibitor plus diuretics group. Well, that others were, was comparable. Others is comparable as well to the experimental group with 49 or others uh, control group with 49.75 millimeter mercury. Generally, based from the data, the peripheral blood pressure measurements were noted to have improved in patients on angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors compared with those 
on angiotensin II receptor blockers. Table uh, four presents the central blood pressure measurements. The data presented in this table will be explained further in figure two. So here's figure two, which depicts the same data presented in table uh, four, central blood pressure measurements among various antihypertensity of drug combinations. Again, the systolic blood pressure, the diastolic blood pressure, pulse pressure, and the pulse pressure augmentation. The mean central systolic blood pressure in the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor plus calcium channel blocker group had 119.92 millimeter mercury, which was significantly lower than that in the angiotensin II receptor blocker plus calcium channel blocker group with 132.69 millimeter mercury. Central SBP in other groups are comparable, whereas the others had the highest mean with 143.75 millimeter mercury. For the mean central diastolic blood pressure, a similar pattern was observed in the ACE inhibitor plus CCB group with 82.38 millimeters mercury was significantly lower than that in R plus CCB group with 92.95 millimeter mercury at the same critical value. Although the mean central pulse pressure was higher in the R plus CCB, with 39.57 millimeter mercury and R diuretics with 39.42 millimeter mercury groups than in the ACE inhibitor plus CCD with 37.23 millimeter mercury and ACE inhibitors plus diuretics with 35.33 millimeter mercury. And the others is comparable to the latter combinations. So these differences were not significant. So the mean central pulse pressure augmentation in the ACE inhibitor plus CCB was 1.4 millimeter mercury and R plus diuretics was 1.4 millimeter mercury. We're comparable to each other and it was significantly higher at 0.001 critical value than ACE inhibitor plus diuretics at with 1.30 millimeter mercury. Similar to the peripheral blood pressure readings, um, the central blood pressure levels were higher in patients who were on ARB than those on ACE inhibitor. The table 5 shows the measurement of vascular age. As presented in the table, the mean vascular age of patients was significantly higher than the average actual age with 58.13 versus 54.22 years. The patients in the ACE inhibitors plus diuretics group had the lowest mean vascular age with 53.3 years, where the mean vascular age in ACE inhibitors plus CCB and R plus CCB are comparable and was significantly higher than in the ACE inhibitor plus diuretics group and for others group was comparable. During combinations involving renin angiotensin aldosterone system inhibitors are commonly used treatment modality for managing patients with hypertension. Central aortic blood pressure is a better indicator of future cardiovascular events than brachial pressure. Hence, in this study, it was found out that out of the four renin angiotensin aldosterone system inhibitor based treatment groups effective improvement of central aortic blood pressure indices was observed in patients who were being treated with angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor either in a two drug combination or alone the study suggested that the use of card, uh, central aortic blood pressure in routine practice um, to achieve the op optimal management of hypertension. Here are my references. Mahalo.